I feel like it's, it's, it's a truly blessing. Like, I feel like I'm here for a reason. God put me here for a reason. Um, it was like you said, it was a lot of ups and downs here, um, which is with any school or anything in life. You can't just quit on it. So I started something, I have to finish it. Um, you know, it made this kind of cliche, like every college football team in the nation, they're a brotherhood, they're a family. This team really feels like it's different. You know, it feels like it has a different vibe to it. It has a different connection. Can you kind of just speak on that and, and your perspective of it? Um, I would say this year it's really different because a lot of the leaders, the older guys, like we all came here together, like we're juniors and seniors. So it's like we've we've grown together. So this is like not like something you put in a year. This is like taking years to build this chemistry. So everybody's really a tight knit uh, group, not just position groups like offense and defense. So I just say uh, this group is like it's not selfish. Like everybody is out here trying to win for their brothers. Uh, like how much have you grown from that day? That night, that night game, your freshman year against Iowa State, when it was Coach Snyder's last game, to, from that point to where you are now, how much do you think you have grown, not only as a person, not as a football player, but as a person? Uh, I say a lot. I was, I was young. That was my, I was like 17 at the time. So just, just being uh, not aware of everything, I say mentally, and, uh, and especially like even football, just my knowledge wasn't there. I was still, everything was a little fast. Like, Playing, played one sideline, played the home sideline, didn't really know how to play, but to now I know ins and outs, uh, starter and everything. I just say it's, it's, it's really a night and day situation. How will playing the Big 12 championship game in that venue, that dome, on a national television, how does that help you going into this game? Um, well, the playing in, uh, in the Cowboy Stadium, it, it, we played there all the time in high school, so it wasn't as big as a shocker. Uh, the stage, can't really try to worry about the stage being too big. You just gotta focus on the field. That that's how you get caught up in like the moment. You so uh, you take it all in before and then after the game. But then while in the game, you gotta lock in. Um, can you talk about just Will's journey? You know, you've been there every step of the way. Watched him through the pandemic years. The Skyler's up and down that season to where he is now. Is it just confidence? Is it is it something else? Can you just talk about your perspective on that? Um, I would say. It, it's, it's confidence, but Will always had that confidence with him since he stepped on campus. Um, you mean like what you guys see now? We've seen flashes when he first got here. So it's as a receiver and as a brother for him, it's it's a it's a, a blessing to see like how far he's come and like his ceiling is so high. I feel like you guys are still not seeing the full Will Howard. So um, just seeing like the confidence and how comfortable he is in our offense right now is like is is happy to see.